He's alive. A tiny baby boy, wrapped in swaddling clothes, about to bring the world joy. All would follow where he goes, preaching in the temple then, even at such a tender age, bringing God's word to us again, holy truths on every page. A humble man, yet strong, carpentry was his chore, but some knew all along one day he would be called Lord. Entering this new place, welcomed and loved by all, gathering to see his face, crowds could only stare in awe. With his chosen ones, Jesus asked them to remember him, his body and his blood, when they shall eat and drink again. Now as Jesus prayed alone, his heart was open still. He said, Father, not my own, but whatever may be your will. Before his prayer was done, Judas would then betray God's only beloved son that very dreadful day. Even Peter began to deny having ever known this man, but his heart started to cry as he heard the cock crow again, beaten and chained with thorns placed on his head. But silent Jesus remained while his back and body bled. The soldiers took him to Pilate, though he had done no wrong, and Pilate would never forget that fearful, haunting song. Crucify him! Crucify him! was all he heard them say. I find no fault in him, but I'll crucify him anyway. Jesus struggled up the hill, though the people did not see. The man that they were going to kill would someday set them free. For on the third day, all prophecy came to pass. The stone was rolled away, and Jesus rose at last. Hear the Great Commission. This day has now arrived. Go proclaim to all nations, Jesus is not dead, for he is alive.